glad that I went to Morgan to Morgan. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Breaking news, Helene is now weak into a tropical depression, but it is still wreaking havoc across the southeast, inflicting historic flooding in multiple states, leaving millions without power and causing widespread damage. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Here in the studio, we are talking about this hurricane. It made landfall late last night as a powerful Category 4 storm and is the strongest hurricane on record to slam into Florida's Big Bend. We have team storm coverage. The Brooke uh, Schaefer uh, is in Keaton Beach, Florida, but we're going to start with Vera Jimenez here in our studio. Vera? Okay, thank you so much. Let's go ahead and put this into play for you so you can see exactly what is going on out there right now. Oh, oh hold on a second. That's the seven. Oh, shoot. Hold on a second. Sorry, guys. The um, map jumped. Sorry about that. So yeah, we do have some major, major winds still with us. Uh, we are looking at the tropical storm uh, producing 35 mile per hour winds that are still with us and they're going to continue to be with us over the next 24 hours it looks like. We do have this moving into the Tennessee and the Ohio valleys where they are going to see some major flooding. As you take a look, you can see that even by Sunday at 8 p.m., we're still looking at 25 mile per hour winds. So places like Georgia have received record amounts of rainfall and it's going to continue to move in a northwesterly direction. It will continue to get downgraded, but at this point, even though it's been on land for almost, what, uh, 14, 16 hours, it is still considered a tropical depression, even though it's moved this far north. Generally, when storms move this far north, they get downgraded immediately. It landed as a tropical, uh, as a category four, and then within the hour, it had downgraded to a category two, and then the following hour, it finally downgraded to a category one, but it still took a long time to continue to get downgraded. So at this point, as I mentioned earlier, Georgia received record amount of rainfall and of course we're going to continue to see some major devastation as it moves towards the Appalachians especially on the southern end and then heading towards the Tennessee and the Ohio valleys the flooding the rainfall is going to be very impactful but more than anything it's really going to be about the flooding that is going to really do a lot of devastation uh, that's a look at what we have going on with the storm now uh, we'll take a look at our forecast here locally in just a few minutes uh, going to be very mild glue and glen but we do have one excessive heat warning so we're not quite done with the heat and more heat is going to come next week i'll have those details for you in just a minute all right vera thank you and as vera was mentioning helene continues to move inland after triggering the life-threatening flooding from florida to north carolina yeah helene made landfall last night as a powerful category four storm it is now a tropical depression reporter our keith shishadri is in georgia with more one of the worst hit areas in the metro Atlanta area was in the Buckhead neighborhood here at Peachtree Park Apartments. Water rising up late Thursday evening as Helene moved forward into Georgia. Take a look behind me. You can still see the remnants here. Water levels are still trickling in. And here on the other side of this apartment complex, we can see cars submerged there, waist deep. So people using boats and canoes to get out and get help. Atlanta Fire Rescue rescuing a family with a baby on a canoe well into the night. Many people, though, did not leave. They instead stayed back here, especially those on upper floors. They said they're going to be working from home and they have their supplies. But we also noticed a sense of camaraderie, people coming together to support one another. In fact, there was someone here on a canoe just a short while ago taking rounds up and down like a shuttle, bringing people and their pets to safety. Experts say this may take a few days for this water to recede because they've had up to 12 inches of rain pouring and trickling in through the metro. Atlanta area over the past few days, but as you can see, this is not something you typically see in Buckhead or in Atlanta with water levels so high, especially submerging some of these cars. But for right now, luckily, no injuries reported. People taking taking a look, paying attention, and wondering when the water will settle down. We'll continue to track this developing story here in Metro Atlanta. But for now, reporting in Buckhead, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief. And we're following breaking news out of Lakewood where a cyclist was killed in a crash involving a school bus. This happened near a school, but no students were on that bus. KTLA 5's Chip Yost live near the scene with the latest details. Hi, Chip.